Chaos theory is a tiny, tiny, tiny part of complexity. Right. And um, in fact, weirdly enough, it's a, it's a part of complexity that fits very naturally in physics. It came out of the study of things like the so-called three-body problem, mm -hmm. classical systems, right, that are completely deterministic. There's no noise in chaos. Uh, it's deterministic irregularity. So it does present as order that appears superficially to be random. And uh, we're interested in subjects that have that property, but they add real randomness, like thermal randomness, noise to them. So early in our history, because of a book that was written by James Gleick, actually, in 92. Oh, yeah. It's called, called Chaos, right? And it was an important book for SFI because he talked a lot about our work. But it's actually a tiny part of what we do, and it's the part that's very close to physics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. So, so it, it could. So there. That no. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> that, yeah. I am better educated. Uh, so thank you. Okay. So how about so, but, other, but, but, other but, 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 elements? I was, just, of I was just going to say. But are you looking in the messiness for reason, or if you want to call it order, if you want to call it non-messiness? That so that the messiness itself really isn't messy. We just see it that way. We don't understand it. 